During my trip to Japan, I was able to fit in so many activities and I had so much fun on this magical trip of a lifetime. But actually on my last day in Tokyo, I decided to meet up with an Ellie in Space fan. And no, it wasn't the Ellie in Space fan that actually recognized me while I was at Disneyland, who was from Australia, but this woman is named Takai in Space. She actually took the train all the way from Kobe to meet up with me in Tokyo. And I was particularly interested not only because she's a huge space enthusiast, but also because I have less than 8% of females that watch Ellie in Space. So I was very intrigued to meet up with her and also ask her so many of the questions that I had about Japan and the culture. At that point, I had been there for over two weeks. I had a lot of questions, but I didn't really know anyone who spoke enough English to chat with me. Speaking of chat, I was surprised because Takai said that she was using chat GPT to respond to me on X. And after meeting her in person, I don't think she needs to use chat GPT at all. I was very impressed by her English and a little bit embarrassed at how little Japanese I actually know. So it is my last day in Japan and I'm going to be showing you guys a lot of Japan and some of the videos that I'll be making, but I wanted to introduce you to someone from Japan. So I'm here with Takai from Takai in Space. And I'm Ellie in Space. <laughs> you are a space lover. Yes, I am. Um, and you also have had some experience living in the United States. Yes, I've lived there for about 20 years, studying films and theaters and I worked in Hollywood as well as an assistant to film director and producers. So, so you're obviously into film. When did your interest in space come along? When well, my 10 year old daughter who um, told me, well, the color of the earth is my name. It's Lily. It, Lily is um, the color of blue, a kind of blue. So that's, that got her started. And then we found SpaceX. Okay. When did you find SpaceX? Before, um, when? Yeah. That's... What year? What year? I'm not sure, but that's before a Starship uh, launch. Okay. And that's how you found my channel yes. was Starship News. Yes. Wow. Even before that, though, because your enthusiasm in space <laughs> was so engaging. Wow. And I started watching, and my, my daughter started watching. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> and then in the Starship launch, uh, we definitely chose your channel. Oh, that's so, so sweet. Yeah, so I'm so glad that you came to Japan to enjoy yeah. Japanese yeah. culture. Yes. And then you went to Hiroshima. That's yes. really respectful. Thank you. And I really appreciate you coming over here in Hiroshima. Yes. What, what, um, you know, what do you think of JAXA? JAXA is an incredible um, Japanese government uh, space agency, and uh, they are going to go to the moon with NASA, yes. one of the first non-American astronauts, yes. going to be Japanese, So, which is going to be really exciting. Also, oh uh, yeah, rover. Japan will develop, for NASA's use, a pressurized rover to rove with our astronauts on the lunar surface. It's a mobile habitat. It's a lunar lab, a lunar home, and a lunar explorer. It's a place where astronauts can live, work, and navigate the lunar surface, leading to magnificent discoveries for all of us. And that was recent news. So like, how does that make you feel as, you know, a Japanese space fan that non-U.S. person is going to go to the moon. I think it's going to be an excellent um, experience for a lot of kids here yeah. in Japan because anyone who's been to the moon are, you know, like Caucasian yes. men. Yes, true. <laughs> yep. And no um, Asian yeah. astronaut has been there. And no women, no black people, Correct. no Asians, but Correct. that's going to change. Yeah, so that's going to be a really um, encouraging for a lot of people. What, what do, you know, you don't know everyone in Japan, but like, are Japanese people into space? 
my grandma or my husband don't really care about space. Yeah. So that's really、um, stress stressful for me. Yeah. <laughs> But、um, Starship and、yeah. SpaceX is so different、mm-hmm. from other. Space news, yeah, because they are really excited about going to some people going to Mars,、mm-hmm. and the trip to Mars is really、um, something that's in science fiction、yes. in a way. But it's happening, and、mm-hmm. because of the Starship, it's a lot closer instead、yeah. of just being TV show. Elon Musk、um, mentioned about going to Mars to the SpaceX employee recently, yeah, and I translated. His speech, and I put it on X, and then a lot of people really, really? saw that. Yeah. Oh my gosh! And what did they think about it? Oh, they're so excited about it. I think they retweeted as well a lot. Yeah. So it's definitely one of the top tweets that I did、wow. that they they saw and they retweeted. Are Are Japanese people into X or Twitter? Do they use that a lot? Oh yes. Okay. The longest, I think they are.、Uh, they have the number one、oh. spot. Wow. To use the usage hours and minutes. I don't know how they calculate, but for Japanese. Yeah. I thought Japan that... is the, one of the t-、uh, no top. Oh wow! Pe- people who use X. Takai says that her daughter is fascinated by SpaceX, and this is what I've learned going to Starbase many times at this point, meeting people from all around the world, including even as far as China. So it's really interesting to see how many people around the globe have an interest in space because of SpaceX and what they're doing. Apollo, she really doesn't really care that much. Yeah. But Starbase,、uh, I'm not Starbase, but Starship、yes. going to Mars is her priority thing. Wow. Because she, her, in her mind, we are going to Mars. That's、yeah. a common way. Oh, what? Are we not going to Mars? There are people who don't think we're going to Mars.、Mm-hmm. That's、yeah. something that you know she doesn't、uh, register. Yeah. So it's normal for her. Yeah. She's ten years old. And she knows. She thinks we're all going. We're not all, but some of some of us are going to Mars. So she wants to go. Oh yeah. Oh wow. She, she wanted to be an astronaut for so, so long. Do most people like if if we were going to go on the street right now, which maybe we should go interview people and have our translator, would they know if you said, "What do you think of Starship?" I'm not sure. Or like if we said, "What do you think of Elon Musk?" Oh, I, I'm sure they they know about Elon Musk. What do they think? <laughs> Favorable. Favorable, yeah, yeah. He was here not too long ago. Yeah, I saw, I with, saw him with his、X. son at、right. the art museum.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's how I like found out about it. So I'm here in Tokyo in Shinjuku, and we're gonna ask people with our lovely interpreter what they、Hi. think of SpaceX and Elon Musk, or if they even know what that is. Elon Musk, または SpaceX のことご存知ですか？いやいえ、わからないです。ごめんなさい。What she, she say? She didn't. She doesn't know who Elon Musk is.、Mm-mm. Elon Musk, または SpaceX について何かご存知ですか？難しい。いやお名前聞いたことがある。あ聞いたことあります。あ聞いたことある。Okay, so break it down. Okay, they knew about the names, but they didn't know、um, what he does. Okay. So he they they knew about X. Okay. But not Starship. あ、イロンマスクご存知ですか？あ、知ってます。He knew about the, the he's involved in space. He is the the part that he's part of the X. Do you know what SpaceX is? No. No? No. Where are you from? Thailand. Do you know of Elon Musk? Yeah, yeah. What do you know about him? Uh, car. Uh, car. Tesla. Yes, yeah. Tesla.、Mm. Yes. Do you、yeah. like Elon Musk? Uh, <laughs> yeah. I also asked her if her daughter thinks that she can become an astronaut through the Japanese space program. She feels she can do it in Japan,、yeah. but you know, like only two people were selected two years、yeah. ago, and you know, compared to NASA, it's just yeah, a small number.、Right. But、uh, they're they're hoping to have like more astronauts here in Japan as well. So hopefully. She, I don't know. So,、It's... so you have your ex as you know,、uh, space journalism.、Mm-hmm. Are, 
Are you like one of the only people that does that in Japan? No, there, there are quite a few. Okay. There are quite a few, but uh, not female, I don't think. Yeah, okay. There's journalists. Well, same for me. <laughs> not a lot of females not covering SpaceX. Female. I know. So it's one of the, um, I, think, well, I think I'm one of the few. And I would like to be like Ellie in space sometime. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Just keep making videos. Keep making content. Well, I haven't made any videos, but oh. yeah. The, well, this is your exercise. first one. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> You're right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but not a lot of launch um, happened here. Yeah. But um, because of that, I think we had successful launch on H3 rocket. Yes. So we'll have more launches here in Japan as well, but not just not like SpaceX. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, so when there's a Starship launch, are you watching it? Oh here? yes, definitely. Yeah. Tell us what you're going back to school for. All oh, right, I'm going to um, study space ethics at uh, Kyoto University, and uh, that's going to be uh, fun because I haven't been at school for so long. <laughs> but it's a it's a quite a challenge for a female like me, who are not in their teen, teenage or twenties. Yeah. to go back to school. But I'm excited that I'm, lear I'm going to be learning uh, a lot of um, space ethics. Yeah. Why do you globally. choose that? Because I think it's, it's going to be important because, you know, like we're going to the moon and it's going to be an issue where if the research spacecraft or lander going to be there and if anything would happen between two countries and if that's going to be used as a you know part of the weapon weaponry system that would be an ethics issue right mm -hmm. and also satellites we're catching uh, space debris mm -hmm. and that could also be used as a weapon yeah. as well but um, that a lot of issues why we are going to go to space and how are we going to put values mm -hmm. in society um, as a human being globally, I think it's going to be important to think ethically mm -hmm. what would be the best for humanity globally, not just as a Japanese or American. Mm -hmm. Well, we have trouble doing that on Earth, so we'll see how we do it uh, in mm -hmm. the stars. Yeah. I feel like it's going to be hard to have international cooperation. I'm hopeful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'd like to feel positive about it. Yeah. We're going to the space. There's no, they, people see no boundaries, mm -hmm. right? Right. From ISS point of yes. view. Yes, the overview effect. Exactly. I think that could be a strong uh, message. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. For a lot of, you know, not just space industry, but the people on Earth. If only we could all go to space and see it. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All the presidents and prime ministers should go to space and see it. One of the reasons that I was so excited to meet up with you, and thank you for taking the long journey here, is that, you know, we've been in Japan now for almost three weeks. Um, and so we've, we've seen things, but maybe not known the answers to some questions of, you know, how the culture is or why things are a certain way. So we haven't really been able to get to know anyone or talk to anyone who can speak enough English <laughs> to explain things. So mm -hmm. this has been awesome. But like, you know, my experience is that I love Japan. Thank you. I don't want to leave. Um, it's, don't leave. <laughs> yeah. It's beautiful here. It's clean. It's sophisticated, it's futuristic, it's like we went to Disneyland, it's way better yeah, than the so. U.S. It has ruined Disneyland in the U.S. for me. <laughs> but like, what do you think about America? You lived there for a while. Oh yeah, I love America. I, uh, if I had a chance, I would go back definitely. Would you stay? I would stay. To stay? Yeah. Wow. Why? Because it has more freedom. Yeah. And uh, everything, like an American dream to me. Yeah. I know there's up and down, you know, in societies in, in, in America too. But um, I think Japanese culture is more strict in a mm -hmm. way, in a lot of ways. And the expectations are really high. Mm -hmm. And they put you in a box. It's like you're a housewife or you're a student or you're a kid. You're, you know, 
husband and you mm -hmm. have to be in certain ways. And in America, it's more independent and right. that's appreciated and supported by every other people. So me knowing that and living here, it's mm -hmm. I feel really pressured sometimes. Yeah. But I'm getting used to it because I've been here for 10 years since then. I think it's interesting because like we look at Japan as like, oh, in some ways it's like so much better than the US and like mm. this is a utopia in some ways. And it sounds like for you, you look at America like, oh, that's better in some ways. And so it makes me wonder like everyone that we've interacted with has been very polite and very cheerful. But are they actually happy or is that just being like a, a good like customer service? I think it's important to, as a customer service mm -hmm. to serve foreigners and serve people who are visiting here and even to, uh, to Japanese customers. Mm -hmm. the customers are God. Mm -hmm. That's the phrase that you know a lot of people used to say. So if you even if you go to um, convenience store they're so polite mm -hmm. right even at the airport right they're so polite yeah and the security guards at the airport they're so polite yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the transit here there in in the united states you know it's compared to, compared to japan it's yeah not that no you know <laughs> <laughs> no a lot of people are are maybe not polite and they still want a big tip and so that's one of the things here like why can't we tip why, why is that not a thing in Japan? Just because, I don't know. They, mm -hmm. uh, they consider that's part of the payment already included. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> like, what is the current state of Japan in 2024? Mm, in terms of space, it's really an op uh, Japan is opening for space uh, startups. Yes. They're, um, they're offering I think $6.5 billion through the next 10 years to new starters in space industry. Wow. So that's going to be huge because we think that if we don't start now, we're going to be way behind. Yeah, right. That's, so yes. that's really exciting. But the birth rate that you mentioned, yeah. it's so difficult for mom who took time off from work for about, for about 10 years, just mm -hmm. like me, to get back to work. And there's no housekeep, um, like a babysitter, like you, you guys have in the States. The system, we don't have that. Um, we we kind of have it, but it's not common at all. Mm -hmm. We're expected to take care of the kids. And some people um, choose to um, uh, use uh, kindergarten and all that, but it's not that common as in the States. Mm -hmm. um, so... It's, it's, it's really hard for a female to keep the job and get back to the job after having kids. And then that, what, what do you think that would happen? That's, that's, that means less kid. Because I have only one child. If I, like, if I had like three or four, I'm, ne I'm never going to have a chance to get back to work environment. So, so is it that most women don't want to just stop working and have their kids? Well, my, um, my sister, yeah, my sister was. She didn't ha want to have a kid. She wanted to keep working, oh. for instance. And I think there are a lot of people like that who have steady job, good income. and so, so, so is there less of a desire to find a man that can take care of you, that can pay for you? No, it's, it's for a job, I think. They want to. They want career mm -hmm. instead of having kids. Really, I think it's it's hard to keep balance as well, like a job and a home and raising kids. And it's really up to who you ask who you ask that question to. Mm -hmm. well, like you said, what has changed in the past few decades? That is it because women like are able to work more now or are oh, yeah. able to have a career and they couldn't before? Like, because something's changed, right? Mm -hmm. For the dramatic mm -hmm. collapse. Yeah, I think so. In the 90s, I think a lot of women um, at work were expected to get married and quit their job and get, you know, be a housewives. But now it's not that at all. Mm -hmm. They were, they are expected if they want to, to get back to work. But, um, if you want to have kids, and you, but once you have kids, 
the babies are so cute. A lot of my friends decided not to go back mm -hmm. as well. It, what's wrong with that? I know. Well, that's, right? I mean, is it because they feel like they have to go back for money or they just don't? For money, yes, like big city in Tokyo, like Tokyo. Yeah, they need some two incomes. Like in, in the States, babysitters are common, right? Mm -hmm. Not at all. Yeah. So I hope that you enjoyed this interview. I really do appreciate you watching and bearing with me. I know that I haven't put out much space content recently, but again, I was in Japan and I think that if you go that far away, you know, 6,000 miles away from home, you really need to soak up every ounce of the experience. I miss Japan already and I'll be putting out a couple more videos about Japan on my channel but also getting back to business. So thank you so much for supporting me and watching Ellie in Space. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to Ellie in Space because it's free. I'll see you soon.